I do. I definitely read the back cover. Um, even if it's by an author that I like and that I know I'm going to read, I like to have some idea of what the book is about. I haven't read any of my books since they've been published. I mean, I read them so often during the editing process and the writing um, that by the time they actually are published, I know them so well. Um, perhaps when I'm very old, I'll go back and read them all again, but I haven't read them since. Uh, well, I keep all my books, all the editions of my own books out in um, a room uh, outside my house in a little, a little special room. So I go out and I put it there with the other books and I usually take a moment and just sort of feel really proud of what I've achieved. Uh, an actor, I think, uh, which isn't that different because you're still creating characters and stories. I think there is a sort of a, a frustrated showman inside me somewhere. You know, a title I've always loved and a book I've loved is, is The World According to Garp. I think that whole phrasing is wonderful. Um, so if John Irving hadn't written that, maybe I could have given it a go. Um, you can't really have heartbreak without having love. Hmm, crime. <laughs> I think it's more interesting. Oh, a sexual encounter, definitely. And I haven't written very many of them in my books at all. Um, I, I, I don't think anybody really writes them very well. Uh, so I tend to avoid them. Yes, I mean, you, like... <laughs> That's a really crazy question. Is there life before death? I mean, there's, yes. I mean, we're in life at the moment. Well, I did dance to a song called uh, Make Your Own Kind of Music uh, by Mama Cass at my wedding. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe Jeff Buckley's version of Hallelujah. That's a song I really love. I think literature should just be um, about telling great stories, and writing in interesting ways, creating authentic characters and moving the reader, feeling that, you know, convincing them that, this is an interesting exploration of things that happen in life. Um, there's a book called The Go-Between by L.P. Hartley, which is a wonderful novel of first love and broken hearts. And it's probably the book that I give most often as a gift. The first people I ever give my books to as a gift is my parents. Um, you know, they encouraged me so much in my writing and they're great readers. And they're always the first people to, to get a copy once I have the, once they've arrived. <laughs>